Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and welcome back to another review on the channel. Today's review is going to be about a game I like to call Being a Ninja, basically. It is called Ghost Runner, and it is, you know, definitely off the radar. It came out earlier this year, in August, I believe, and it has garnered a bit of a cult following, I guess you could say. People kind of play it as more of an indie game, and it kind of is an indie game. It's funded by, you know, a company that isn't known for making big games. And honestly, for what it's worth, it is a fun game with a lot of flaws in it, okay? Um, in this review, I'll be discussing those flaws, basically pros and cons, and uh, discuss about the gameplay and uh, what made it so bad or so good, you know, in that sense. Anyways, let's get into it. My biggest praise with Ghost Runner already off the bat is the gameplay. I feel like the gameplay is very unique and fresh to see in a game like this, a first-person ninja game, I guess you could say. Uh, going around sliding and, you know, knifing the enemies is just very fun to do. I cannot stress it enough. I have a lot of fun going around on walls and slicing orbs and using my grapple hook to propel me across the map. That right there, that shit is cool, okay? What I don't like about this game is the story. I think the story is very weak. It could be a lot because it is a very nice concept, but they take, they go nowhere with the story. The story basically is you are a ghost runner, which is like a ninja in the city where you're trying to fight the main lady, the key master, I believe her name is Martha. I kind of forget because honestly, the game is that forgettable in the story department. Um, then you have someone in your head talking to you. You have some lady from like a, basically a big resistance uh, clan called like the, the Climbers, I think it's called. And she talks to you about the game. The guy in your head talks to you throughout the game. You do like puzzles every once in a while, get new abilities. I mean, the story is there, the concept is there, but it's not executed at all. Like I feel like the people who wrote the game kind of just didn't really think of more complex situations. They kind of went with more of the cliche element, I guess you could say, almost like a movie or an action movie. Basically, okay, so this this game has a great. A setting and concept and the story went nowhere with it that's my biggest complaint with it also the boss fights are somewhat unbearable and somewhat fun at the same time this depends how you see you know if you're good with challenges maybe this isn't really a bother to you but for me a person who is not bad at games per se but doesn't like to be challenged on a single player game that's why i play games like you know call of duty and all that stuff because i don't want to be challenged in my campaign um the bosses are very annoying somewhat they have their moments where i want to rip my hair out and moments where i want to break my controller and there are moments too where i think it's very fun and unique such as the key master boss fight towards the end of the game uh when you fight her and her eight tentacles basically that is cool now the hel ninja woman one not so cool and the final stupid boss fight no not really either that also is a little stupid i killed a white old man who talked to me throughout the game i thought he'd be a really cool ass monster thing at least it was literally a human being i just knifed and threw off a fucking cliff so a little bit of a letdown in that department for sure. Anyways, you know, not, not, not a lot of cons with this game and, you know, some pros too. Definitely worth it. Now let's get to the verdict. Plugging in Ghost Runner on our uh, review scale, we're going to give it an 88 out of 100. This is a pretty solid rating. Um, the game is you know, very fun, but it has its moments where I want to, you know, put it down and stop playing completely. So I feel like if... The story is improved on more, and the difficulty is toned a little bit for newer and beginning players to attract a bigger fan base. The game would be more in the 96 area, even higher than Siege. But like I said, it all depends on if developers can maybe put out DLC in the future or updates to this game, because it is fairly new, so who knows. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, every Friday now, I'm going to have new reviews, at least I'm going to hope to have new reviews every Friday. Um, like I said, I have my Instagram in the description below. Please go and follow me and DM me or comment here for new reviews. I'm always up to anything you guys want me to do if I ha own the game. But anyways, thank you for watching again, and I'll talk to you guys later.